Okay, go ahead. Sorry about that, folks. We got a little bit of, for whatever reason, it was saying our internet connection was slow, and so we're trying to take care of that. But uh, thank you for joining us tonight. And if you are just joining with us, bear with us, and we'll get we'll get through this. But let us know that you're watching. Give us a like, a wave, a, you know, thumbs up, like the page. And if you find these helpful, then share them. That'd be share it. That'd be wonderful as well. It always helps the algorithms of our page. So thank you for doing that. So and if you can if you're having trouble hearing us, uh, or if there, you're having other kind of problems, just please let us know. So Susie is watching that. She will be able to let us know if we need to stop because I can't see any of that that's happening. So I'm just I'm just talking to you. So thank you. Um, so we were telling you about Thursday night Bible study. Tomorrow night will not be happening because it's not the first or the third Saturday night or Thursday night. So next week it will happen at 7 o'clock on Zoom. And if you're interested, please let us know. We can send you the information. It's not doesn't matter when you join in because it's it's not. They're just talking about the women of the Bible and they pick a different woman every Thursday night. And next week it will be uh, Nicole Andrews down in Florida will be leading that talking about Abigail and they'll be doing studying the, the woman Abigail from the Bible so uh, Nicole Andrews will be leading that a week from tomorrow next Thursday uh, for that Bible study then of course uh, coming up this Saturday this Saturday morning at 8 o'clock is our men's prayer breakfast at the church and you will want to be a part of that so all you men who are watching listening uh, Come out and join us. You'll have Charlie Holly and Ron Ellis and Kurt Ellis. They do a wonderful job of cooking cooking for us as they cook. Uh, we have scrambled eggs. We have um, sausage and bacon. We have hash browns, uh, gravy, biscuits and gravy. and um, I mean, it. the coffee, the orange juice, milk, whatever you need. It, it's a wonderful time and a great time of fellowship together as well. And of course, then uh, always, uh, Brother Joe Cameron leads us in, a, in a, an inspirational time and devotion and, and study of the Word of God. And we talk about those things in very great, good discussions that happen. That's this Saturday morning at 8 o'clock at the church downstairs coming in the back door at where the kitchen is. And uh, we'd love to have you, so please join us this Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. Then also... At 11 o'clock on Saturday is the women's luncheon. They meet together at 11 o'clock at the same place downstairs at the church. And the, the women's luncheon, ladies' luncheon, will happen this Saturday at 11 o'clock. And it usually goes to 12, 30, 1 o'clock, somewhere in there. So they'll be, you'll be out of there in wonderful time. Then, of course, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, our worship service as we uh, are meeting together. And a few more, uh, a few more coming out. And we're always glad... To, to see you and to have you with us in person. If you can't make it in person or you're not comfortable there yet, we understand. And just join us online, if you would, and we, we appreciate your faithfulness there. And as always, being able to uh, support, giving your tithes and your offerings, and uh, you've been very faithful to do that. And we're so grateful and thankful and appreciative of that. You can either send it in by mail. You can give it to somebody who will put it in. We have the boxes at, in the foyer that were just made for us and beautiful boxes to put in your offerings or cards and your uh, tithes and offerings there or you can uh, do it online just go to online to our website at bonnernaz.com and there's a link where you can give and it's secure and safe and we appreciate that through paypal so uh, we appreciate your efforts in in taking care of, of these needs so thank you may god richly bless you for doing that and then, of course on uh, the teens will be meeting at 6.30 on Sunday and, and of course, during the service uh, on Sunday morning. Our children have Kids Quest downstairs and their, their worship time as they have down there with Pastor Barb and John. And uh, Pastor Griffin does the teens then on Sunday night at 6.30. And uh, we really would like to see you come. Those of you who have been a part of our church and haven't come back yet, and yet, you know, you can do a lot of other things. Come, get, let your kids try to come and have a have a great just let them try it out and see they haven't even met our new pastor yet uh, pastor griffin and you would you will be uh, you will be you will enjoy your time you will enjoy it you will appreciate it and it'll be fine and, and susie my wife also 
meet is with meets with the teens as well uh, as a as a sponsor and, and uh, support there as well with Pastor Griffin. So uh, he's not there by himself, so you know that. But anyway, come on out and join at six thirty on Sunday night. Then of course Monday night, the women's Bible study led by Pastor Barb, as they talk they're talking about um, growing in the in through the tough times using the trial times in your life to grow you grow your faith and uh, getting stronger so uh, that happens at six o'clock on monday night six o'clock monday night and that's either by zoom or in person so they've been meeting you there in person as well so interesting that uh, some of you who've been watching us online um we had a couple more join us in person on sunday for that very first time and that's always a delight we're always glad to meet you and to have you with us and so thank you for that and others of you have been watching that we've been able to meet out and about and we're grateful for that as well when i walk down town or shopping or gas somebody said oh hey i've been watching you every week and i'm oh nice anyway so that's always fun but uh, we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. So thank you. It takes all of us working together to make it make it happen, make it come together. So we have some other exciting announcements to, that we'll talk about coming up on Sunday as we're working out the details. I don't want to jump ahead and say something that uh, I may not uh, know all the details yet, but I know our Board of Stewards are working on it and our trustees are working and we have some volunteers. We're trying to put some things in place that uh, we have here coming up at the end of the month here just in a couple of weeks. Um, a connections fair to represent our church at Mid America, trying to get some uh, young adults into the church, and so that's going to happen as well as Tiblo Days coming up at the end of the month, and ideas about how we can reach reach that. So if you have any ideas you'd like to be a part of that, please let us know. Reach out to us. We'd want to be a part of that and be a part of our community, uh, letting people know about our church. So we're we're coming up with some great uh, ideas. And uh, I'm great. You can be grateful for your church board, who is uh, faithful to pray and seek God's direction, and uh, their interest in trying to grow, grow our church. And so we have some goals we're putting in mind and in place. And so we're we're wanting to share those with you. So we have those announcements coming up on Sunday. You'll want to be a part of that. Also, the young at heart. That's the those who are still young at heart, but maybe a little over 50 years old. That group is going to meet together on the 27th. Uh, or 28th, that's the 28th, I think, on Saturday, going to the Monarchs game out here at the Legends um, baseball game, and uh, we're going to be getting that together, so that will be a sign-up sheet and a foyer. We're, we're preparing for that, and then that Sunday also, we're, we're planning a uh, potluck dinner together, and so we want to just, there'll be some, just pay attention, and you'll want to be a part of it, and we want to invite you to put it on your calendar and be able to come out and join us for those times. It'd, it'd be, uh, be wonderful times together. So thank you for doing that. Well, let me get back to, uh, to our Bible study tonight, our devotional. And I, my, uh, my thoughts are going to 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2 and beginning at verse 14. This is uh, the Apostle Paul writing to Timothy these words and of course when he's writing to Timothy it, it's these letters have been shared to around the Christian community during that time they were they were shared and read out loud even though this was to Timothy he would read it and then share it with the with the church folk so this is this is Paul's words to them challenging them so listen to this this is what he talks about it's the heading of that this part of the chapter the heading is dealing with false teachers second Timothy chapter 2 verse 14 Keep reminding God's people of these things. Warn them before God against quarreling about words. It's interesting, isn't it? Warn them before God against quarreling, quarreling, um, arguing about words. It is of no value and only ruins those who listen. That's interesting, isn't it? It only ruins those who listen. Now, verse 15, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth or the word of God. 
Avoid godless chatter, because those who indulge in, in it will become more and more ungodly. That's pretty strong language, isn't it? Avoid godless chatter, because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. Their teaching will spread like gangrene. Among them are Hymenaeus and Philetus, who have departed from the truth. They say that the resurrection has already taken place, and they destroy the faith of some. Nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm, sealed with this inscription, the Lord knows those who are his, and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness. Wow. That's interesting, isn't it? I, I, I just find that really, really interesting myself. And, and the, the verse that really stands out to me is verse 15. Verse 15. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. So, you know, my mind just continually, my mind just runs in circles and just thinks about all kinds of things. But I've got to thinking about this and that, you know, in our, in our time, in our day and age, there are lots of Bible conferences. There's lots of gospel radio and television broadcasts. There's a lot of, of very efficient Sunday teachings and churches where um, there is some good Bible preaching. It seems like we're just inundated with all kinds of things, whether it's radio, television, um, a lot of good churches that are that are preaching the Bible. I mean, there are a lot that don't. We know that, but there are a lot who you can find it anywhere. We're very efficient Sunday teachings and, and Bible preaching that's happening out there. And when that happens, there's a danger, though, that if, if one is not careful, that they will neglect searching the Scriptures for themselves. Because, I don't have to tell you this, you, you are aware of it, I'm just reminding you, it, it, it is, after all, much easier to allow someone else to spread the table, and then all you have to do is eat. It's a lot, a lot easier to do that, right? So, we, if you apply that in, the, in your home life to let somebody else fix the meal, and you all you have to do is sit down and eat it, they can spread the table with nothing. You know, my, you reap all the benefits. Now move that over to our spiritual life, and we let everybody else do all the work, and we just accept it that, hey, they've done it. We'll just accept it. There's no sense in, in having to reinvent the wheel, so to speak, and that's, and that's not the point. That's missing the point. In fact, I, I was reading, one scholar said this. Let me read it to you. He said, I was reminded of, talking about this, said, I was reminded of this as I watched the birds outside my window one morning. I had provided for them daily by placing seed, bird seed, on a board and also scattering a lot of the seed on the bare ground and grass so that all of the birds could share the food. And he said it was interesting to see how few birds would actually eat if they had to hunt or scratch for the food in the grass or scratch for it on the bare ground. They would stand, he said, they would stand on the empty board and look around and then fly away rather than scratch for their breakfast. Keep that picture in mind. Here he had a board. I don't know how big it was, but a board that he would put food on. The birds would come and land on the board, and then he spread it around in the grass and on the bare ground around the board. The birds would come and eat up all the bird seed, but he noticed that a lot of those birds would come and land on the board. And once there was that food was gone, they didn't want to go out into the grass of the bare ground to scratch for their food, even though it was out there. 
So it made me wonder, made me think, and I wonder, are we, are we afraid to scratch for our spiritual nourishment each day? Or do we want it just given to us? You know, and there's nothing against daily devotionals. I, I have them. I use them myself. But a lot of times, and even in, in my weekly email when I send out an hour, I'll put a reference, Bible reference. Whenever, whenever you see a Bible reference, either by myself or by someone else, either you're reading a de daily devotional, they put a Bible reference out there without printing out the whole scripture verse. Do you take the time to look it up? Or do you just take it for granted that it says what we say it says? See what I'm saying? Now, keep that picture in mind of those birds on that board eating up the bird seed, eating the food. And it's also out there in the grass and in the bare ground, but they don't want to go scratch for that. They just want to take it for what's right here on the board. Do you go search the scripture? Or do you just take it for granted that that's... And whether somebody's on TV or, or uh, radio or even a CD that you're listening to. Those are great resources, wonderful resources. But let's not be like those birds. Let's open our Bibles and spend time, whatever time it takes, to find the nourishment for our souls. What our souls need is here. And when you read it, for, when you look it up and read it for yourself, God speaks to you in different ways than using somebody else's words. He'll speak to you about that passage of Scripture, and you will be able to use it. Let me just tell you something, friends. God's Word is alive. It's alive, and we need to read it for ourselves. So... That's, that's not to say that, you know, we can't ever take somebody's word for it. But a lot of times we get into that habit, then we get lazy, spiritually lazy. So I want to, I want to encourage you <laughs> to search God's word. Search God's word for the guidance. Search God's word for the encouragement, for the strength that you need. And don't be afraid to scratch for it if necessary. Get off of the main board. Scratch a little bit. And even in even when you read your Bible, you find in at least this Bible that I'm using right here in the middle, it has a has references that go with the verses. And sometimes I cross-reference and say, and look at what it's referring to, what else it's referring to. A lot of people say there's contradictions in the Bible. Well, if you follow these connections. Then you'll be able to piece it all together. It fits together. It really does. Well, I know that's going a long way about getting us there, but what does 2 Timothy chapter what does 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, what does it say? Look at it again. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Present yourself to God as one who's approved, a worker who doesn't need to be ashamed. So don't be ashamed of, you say, well, I don't really know the Bible like you do or like other people do. I don't really know the Bible. Search it. Look for it. In the back of your Bible is a, is a cross-reference thing. If you're thinking of a word or you're thinking of a phrase, Look up those words back here in the back. There's a, there's a glossary back there, or a, a concordance, they call it. A concordance that will tell you where those words are found in the, in the Bible, in the Scripture. Look it up. Look it up. Find out if it's, if it's in the Bible and what God has to say. But that's what he's saying here. Do your best. Do your best to present yourself to God as one who's approved. A worker doesn't need to be ashamed of who you are and what you do. And one who correctly handles the word of truth. Searching it for yourself. Even if you need to scratch for it <laughs> a little bit. Can I just, I want to just encourage you. We just read several verses, 14 to 19, with that five, six verses of scripture that we read tonight. 
I would like to challenge you to just read chapter 2. Read, read all of chapter 2 of, of 2 Timothy. Either today or before the week is out. Just take the time to read all of chapter 2. And as you do, as you do, ask God to speak to you concerning one specific truth in that chapter that you should apply to your life. Read, the, read chapter 2, read the whole chapter, and as you read it, ask God to speak to you concerning a specific truth, one truth, in that chapter that you should apply in your life. <laughs> Start today. And I can tell you this, you'll be glad you did. You'll be glad you did. You, you might, you'll say, boy, I really like that. And you'll find yourself wanting to do it more often. And you'll find yourself wanting to do it on a regular basis, and you, you will able, you'll you'll be able. I'm not a I'm not I've never have been one that, that really enjoyed reading. But you know when you when you come across something, when you do things intentionally, you come across something that really strikes you. And when you search for it yourself, and you know I have to do a lot of research for my my sermons and my stories and all that kind of thing. I the research that I do for that to make sure it's that's true, it's there, and to know how to tell you about that. But I, I enjoy it. I get to where I enjoy that. I look forward to that. And I do that in my own personal study as well, not just what I'm preparing for you to give you on Sunday morning, but preparing and looking and doing cross-reference, finding out where it is in the Bible, what it says, how it speaks to me. God uses that and speaks, sometimes gives me specific truths that I need to apply in my own life. And you can do the same. You can do it. So that's, I, I, that's why I want to call this, let's scratch. Scratch for our food. Let's scratch for the spiritual nourishment we need. Don't be afraid to get off the board and scratch a little deeper through the, through the scriptures. Let God speak to you. Let him, let him encourage your heart with his word. And it will happen if you start today. Just start by reading this second chapter. Of, of Second Timothy, even even today, before the day ends, or or before you go to bed, or even before the week, read, read that second chapter. You'll be glad you did if you start today. So, as always, this morning I I was thinking about this and thinking about our our time, my devotional tonight, and. I just was not coming up with a song at all. I'm like, well, I guess I don't need to sing every time, and and I know I keep saying that, but I this afternoon a song hit me, it came to my mind, and it's a song in our hymn book, and it's it's an old song. It was written in it was written in 1900. So some of you some of you may remember this if you grew up in the church. You'll remember some of you old folks will know this song, and I want you to sing it with me. I think it'll it'll bring back some memories for you. Are you ready? It goes like this. Deeper, deeper in the love of Jesus daily let me go. Higher, higher in the school of wisdom more of grace to know. Oh, deeper yet I pray and higher every day and why Blessed Lord, in thy precious holy word. Deeper, deeper, blessed Holy Spirit, take me deeper still. Till my life is wholly lost in Jesus and his perfect will. Deeper, deeper, though it cost hard trials, deeper let me go. Rooted in the holy love of Jesus, let me fruitful grow. Oh, deeper yet I pray, and higher every day, and why? Blessed Lord, in thy precious holy word, deeper, 
fire every day in Jesus till all conflicts pass. Find me conqueror and in his own image perfected at last. Oh, deeper yet I pray and higher every day and wiser blessed lord in thy precious holy word and wiser blessed lord in thy precious holy word <laughs> amen well that's that's the sentiment that's what where we need to be. That God would help us to be presenting ourselves as approved, not to be ashamed, but to be be correctly handling the word of truth. His word. Scratch for it if we need to. Scratch for it. Wow. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your word. And I pray that Lord you would you would help all of us to to do a better job at seeking what you have to say to us through your word. May we, may we not be afraid to scratch and to dig a little bit and to go, go through not just taking what somebody has to say that that's what the Bible says, but let's search it out for ourselves and so we will know what you say to us. We'll know what your word is. And you, you, you will honor that and you will bless us. You will give us a, above all spiritual blessings. You will give us that. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your truth. Help us to go deeper. Help us, Lord, to become wiser in your word, your precious holy word that we just sang. Lord, we thank you. Be with each of these that we've been talking about, we've been mentioning, we continue to pray for them, those who are on our list as well. Draw them, draw them and draw all of us closer to you that we might that we might be in that place where we would be not ashamed of our work, that we would be approved unto you. Oh Lord, rightly, correctly handling your word. Help us to be the best that we can to others as well. And Lord, for what you do for us, we'll be careful to give you the praise, glory, and honor and credit because it all rightfully belongs to you. In your name, I pray the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you again for, for joining us and for watching. And again, if you're watching us online, sorry for the little hiccup we had earlier at the beginning, but uh, hopefully that got worked out. And uh, be sure and wave at us or give us a thumbs up, like us, like the page as well. And if you don't like the page and you're on there, sometimes you might get a you might get a uh, invitation to like the page. And so we encourage you to do that. That always helps those algorithms that keeps track of who's watching and, and where and that sort of thing. So uh, thank you, thank you very much for that. And give us a shout out. And if you have a special need or something you want us to pray about, send send us a private message or send me send us a message somehow anyway we will answer that we'll get to it as quickly as we can and we will we want to help you we want to help carry your burden and lift your burden to the lord so let us know those things thank you once again again we'll look forward to seeing you either saturday or um, saturday morning the men at eight o'clock the women at 11 o'clock for the luncheon uh, and then we'll or we'll see you sunday morning at 10 o'clock for our regular worship time together and uh, we we're praying that God would be with us again. We planned a, planning a, a good service again. Thankful for the service this last week. Planning another good one this Sunday as well. You want to be a part of it. So we'll look forward to seeing you 10 o'clock Sunday morning, either in person, we'd rather that, or online right here, uh, Facebook Live or on our website. You can do that either way. But we'll see you then. So until then, brothers and sisters, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And be careful. May God richly bless you, as I know that he can and he will. Good night.